Good evening, everyone. Our topic is in hence privacy ID in hyperledger efficient knowledge proof comparison and implementation. Focus on seal signature and JSK stars. We are a researcher in the information security lab of Professor Im Myung Ri at Suncheon University from South Korea. I'm Kyung Jin La, a PhD student. I will announce first half one, two, three part. Tim Kim is a PhD student also. He is going to present second half four, five, six part. Okay. First, we are talking about introduction. On the internet, senders and dispers communicated communicate, secure it through user and message authentication. Authentication server issues tokens to arbitrate users to access state. Uh, but traditional methods were centralized. It has a single point of parallel. Since then, distributed and federated methods have issued. However, Users don't want their identity information spread at internet. In addition, it is difficult for users to control or verify their information. So, decentralized ledgers such as blockchain provides public validate date, data and credibility via temper registers. Uh, so let's think about it. Uh, for example, user at least wants to use the service. So the service provider requests at least two qualification. But we are curious. Uh, one is if this is just other authentication, or we at least need to uh, over the age 18. So this is a situation Alice should submit sensitive information such as social security number or uh, actual addresses where someone collects user information through public networks and blockchain ledgers. So we need to consider two things. One is the set range of information revealing through cryptography method. At the same time, it prevents that participants profile from Alice information. So the other is the information provider issues Alice credential um, for unconnect Alice identity capability. So in other words, the information is stored outside blockchain and is recorded only peer-to-peer -peer secure connection values. Um, on the left side, uh, the X.509 system uses the same and repeatedly public key signature. So user tracking is possible. Uh, on the right side, side, the identity mixer of the hyperledger in the project on connects user identity key by issuing different transaction certificates for each policy of the user relying party. Uh, however, it preserves autonomy through a single credential package. So each DID is associated with a method and a DID method specifies the rules for how a DID is registered, verified, updated, and revoked on the network. Uh, as you know, attribute-based credentials, uh, that is, are a form of authentication mechanism that allows to flexibly and authenticate different attributes about an entity without revealing additional information about the entity. Um, zero knowledge proof 
allows to create logical operation in the form of true or false proofs. The user creates proofs by mixing secret and public values, known only one. So, uh, the validator verifies that it matches the receipt message without secret, secret through isomorphism. So we take a look at Zcash marks, also known as Sales Signature and Zcash, which are popular in Indie and DID project. Um, actually, the symbol of generalized proof in the blockchain is not just security. Um, the message of the blockchain must come from three things. Uh, first, does the date exist on the blockchain? Second, is the owner of the date correct? Uh, that is, do you have a private key? Finally, is the data not duplicated? In this case, Jelena's proof provides a simple verification system by keeping the credential value secret. Therefore, it had scalability. So blockchain and generalized proofs are a very good combination. Existing transaction records are converted to proof. The size is reduced and the verification time is reduced too. So our contribution is as follows. First, we propose a DID system with enhanced privacy, like hyperledger in the project is suppressed and uh, suppress the member's identity verification and the secure connection of the transaction certificate. Second, we implementation representative zero knowledge proofs, sales signature, and set case notes. Because the traditional in the project considers only CL signature, so our set case notes application is a new challenge. Finally, we comparative analyze performed in various simulations going to changes in the number of users and validators. So uh, the ID that uh, communicates with the following three objects. Uh, you look see a uh, raft picture. Users are the original owners of uh, attribute information, um, we, we can call this object a holder. Issuer is a credential issues that guarantees user information or credential to an institution or a company. Uh, last validators are reliant party usually service provider. Um, in this case, the issuer provides the secure connection value not the actual information called the credential. User stores their credentials and submit them in multiple bundles. In this case, selective information exposure and generalized proof are used. Therefore, DID is unique identification address pointing to a credential. For example, Alice corresponding DID 1, 2, 3, colon ABC document contains actual information. Uh, you, you can see that Alice ID ABC name Alice, uh, public key 001, um, time and signature and so on. It is not uploaded to the blockchain and is stored in the form of generalized proof. The receiver bot verifies the credential and is submitted um, uh, by a blockchain. So if the prover has to repeatedly respond to Alice challenge without labeling his zero knowledge. Uh, and ZK snacks 
get, generates a challenge polynomial through a uh, preset string so that Bob, the validator, can communicate and verify only one round. Except for the secret value of the prover, the rest are public values. Change the firing polynomial to perform gate operation through an arithmetic circuit. Uh, the first step is a parameter setup based on elliptic curve cryptography. This computation gives the prover and verifier the same function, but this value is destroyed after setting. And then transform, it transforms the polynomial into a function form. Then it is broken down into a single calculation that is black code and arithmetic circuit uh, steps. And then it is to adjust the form of Shamir's secret calculation so that it is divided by zero. Finally, the validator efficiently validates whether it is divisible by zero. In other words, uh, otherwise, your signature binds and tribute to a single validation message through pairing the isomorphic computations. The issuer issues the user credentials by digital signature multiple claims with their private key. So next. Step is uh, Taeyong Kim will make the next announcement. Thank you. Hello, my name is Taeyong Kim. I start the presentation. First, I will describe objects the user in an information provider. At the same time, this is the subject of requesting the issuance of credentials. All participants are a term that refers to all objects participating in this project. Root CA is the term level object, and this manages ICA. ICA is divided into registers and issuers, and each role is registered and issued. Verifier is the service provider, and this verifies the user's credentials and provides, provides services. The overall system flow is shown in the following figure. It is objects include user, registration server, issuing server, and service provider. The flowchart steps consist of a total of three steps. The first step is registration and token issuance. User registers themselves and requests a token to issue an anonymous certificate. The second step is to issue an anonymous certificate. The user sends the token to the issuing server. After that, the issuing server verifies the token. And then, if it is a valid token, it issues an anonymous certificate to the user. The final step is the credential verification step. The user sends an anonymous certificate to the verifier, and then the verifier verifies the values required for general proof. If who is a legitimate Legitimate user service providers provi provides services. This is page implementation class diagram. As shown in the figure below, there are root CA, ICA, user T app, and verifier. User runs this project using T app. Root CA registers ID and password of all participants. ICA issues participants key pairs, tokens, and anonymous certificates. Chain code offers two methods, ZK snacks, and CL signature.
The following is the configuration of the development system environment for this project. Root CA, ICA, and T app were implemented using Google Cloud. Hyperledger fabric samples used version 1.4. Hyperledger fabric samples were used because they are easy to develop. And we developed it by modifying fields, orders, and channels. Other than that, the specification are as follows. Next, this page is description of the function. This project consists of 12 steps. It provides function from user registration to anonymous certificate verification function. Here is the implementation result. This project implemented a DApp in the form of a website. First, this is a step of the login screen using the wallet. Second, when a user logs in, the anonymous certificate issued by the user is as follows. And the user who receives it stores it in their wallet. It includes various transactions, such as transaction ID, channel ID, token value, and proof of hash value. Next, verifier needs to trace the transaction to verify the anonymous certificate. Verifier use token values to track transactions. The following is an anonymous certificate using shell signature. The contents are as follows. The transaction ID, channel ID, and timestamp are the same. It consists of X, Y, and Z values that can be disclosed. Also, anonymous certificate using shell signature are tracked using the Q value. Next, I will explain the efficiency analysis. This project uses JTK SNACS and shell signature for JKP. In addition, the verifier is fixed to one first and the comparison is made when the number of users gradually increases. The following was compared when the number of verifiers and users gradually increases. When the number of users increases by one and the number of users increase by one. The average delay time of shell signature is short and source put is high. Still, ZK snacks are more efficient when the number of users increases. When there are many users, shell signature is gener generally slightly faster than ZK snacks. However, as the number of numbers of verifiers and users increase, ZK snacks are faster than shell signature. When the numbers of users and verifiers increase by one, the generation time of ZK snacks and shell signature are shown. In addition, the maximum delay time, minimum average delay time, and source put results are also shown in figures. As shown in figures, if the number of users increase, the average latency of ZK snacks and share signature decrease, and the source put increases. Similarly, latency and source put are the same as ZK snacks, with the first user accessing the blockchain network source, the application resulting in relatively high latency and low source put. However, it can be seen that the number of verifiers increases, average delay time and source put decrease. Also, when the number of users is small, the average delay time of share signature is short and the source put is high. However, and the number of users increases, it can be seen that ZK snacks are more efficient. Comparison Comparison and analysis of ZK snacks and share signature confirmed that 
that the average lead time decreased and source put increases as the number of users increases. Also, it was confirmed that average delay time increased and source put decreases as the number of verified increases. By contrast, according to differential research analysis of ZK Snacks and CI Signature, when the number of user increases and the verifier is fixed to 1, the average delay time of CI Signature is short and source put is high. Also, when the number of users increases by 1 and the number of users increases by 1, the average delay time of CI Signature is short and source put is high. ZK Snacks is more efficient when the number of users increases. When there are many users, CI Signature is generally slightly faster than ZK Snacks. However, as the numbers of verifier and users increase, ZK Snacks is faster than CI Signature. If more than uh, four verifiers exist, some fears will be down. In other words, if more than four fields are operating the hyperledger the fabric network, it cannot be processed and will be down. In the future, a protocol with enhanced specific security will be developed by applying it to a concrete environment. Continuous research to improve the speed of ZKP and blockchain performance is required. This is I have a pretty failed for you today. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Any question? Thank you. If you have any question, please contact us by email. We will write your write my we are our email address in the chat box. If you have any question, let me know any email. <laughs> 